everybody. Thanks for coming. So the, uh, the, you'll hear me say this again. This, is a, this project is a gift to this community from the friends of Andy Davis. I trust you're all friends of Andy Davis. So well done to you all. Um, unfortunately, uh, because we were all volunteers, I have a huge list of people that I need to thank. So if you'll bear with me for a few moments, I'd just like to go through that list. So the, um, what happened here was last year at Andy's Memorial, um, there was a, a speech given by our former mayor, Stuart Alsgaard, and uh, that speech was so inspiring that some of us started thinking we need to do something more for Andy. So consequently, we had a meeting somewhere around here and we decided this was a good location for uh, a bench and we were going to ask the City Hall to uh, donate a bench to, this, to the project we were working on. So uh, Stuart, in his, in his uh, former role as mayor of Powell River, uh, offered to go to City Hall and soften up the mayor and council to, so they would approve the project. Um, he was very successful because when I went to request the money, the money for the project or the donation of the bench, City Council uh, and the mayor um, were very, uh, very favorable to the project and they offered the donation. So, uh, councillors, thank you very much for your support for this project. Did, mayor, did uh, the former mayor Formosa join us yet? He's unable to be here. He's unable to be here, very good, okay. So the, after, uh, after we had the bench lined up, we also received the donation of the tree that you see there, and that was donated to us from uh, Dave Cernowski at Springtime Nursery. So thank you very much to Springtime for their donation. And I'm not allowed to miss that TNR landscaping, they donated the rock. And then you all fundraised, we fundraised for the plaque to go on the rock. And um, Nan, that is the correct spelling. It's not German, it's the correct spelling. Okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, I need to thank you all for donating to uh, this project because uh, without you, this wouldn't be here. So, um, of course, we're standing on city property, so um, because this is a city property, we needed to go through the, cha the proper channels to get this project going. And uh, Sc Scott Glassby was kind enough to uh, do a, 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 a test section on the trail. And where is he? There he is. Mr. Mike Caban, the city park manager, gave us approval to carry on. And uh, so thanks, thanks to you, Mike, and your crew f and your staff for all the work that you did. You s they've supported us by donating all the gravel, the rock, and all the other uh, stuff on the trail. And um, it was a lot of work, but we're, whatever we needed, the only thing we're missing is a wheelbarrow. <laughs> and it'd be so nice if we could have a wheelbarrow, Mike. <laughs> so then we started working on the trail and it was very it was easy to talk about it but then you had to get down and do some work and that's when we had uh, our friend Scott Glassby and his crew of trail monkeys that's how they're called um, Scott Glassby works for or doesn't work he's a he's a retired person but he <laughs> He oversees a crew of volunteers that um, are working on the uh, Sunshine Coast Trail right now because well, while we're speaking, there are a few hundred people walking the Sunshine Coast Trail. And that's thanks to Scott and his crew. And uh, I was able to siphon them off of the work on the trail and come here and help this. And Scott, thank you very much for uh, all your guys. And I just want to introduce you to a few of his trail monkeys. There's uh, Sean, Sean Spiquette, where are you? There you are. 
Thanks, Scott, for all your work. Tom Colazar is another person. Down, Don Krompacher and uh, Eagle Waltz. There's a funny story about Eagle Waltz. Are you here, Eagle? He's here. He's here. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> so uh, e Eagle couldn't handle a shovel and a pickaxe, so I gave him a, a tape measure and a bunch of stakes to measure out the trail. And um, at, I had to correct him a couple of times because he kept on making a straight trail. And I said, Eagle, you got to act like you're a drunken sailor. That's the only way to make this trail. So uh, once he finally got caught on to the idea of a drunken sailor, it was really easy going, wasn't it, Eagle? <laughs> so, so a few others was David Bedry. Thank you very much, David. The Smokies were delicious. <clears throat> and uh, John Edwards, Howard Bridger, Wayne Gooch, and also Murray Jones, part of that crew of yours, Yay. Scott. But that was only part of the volunteers. There were also a lot of people just in this community who wanted to work on the project. And uh, I'm just going to mention a number of names. Leo Zagwin, are you here? Oh, there he is. Hi, Leo. And, and Deb Zagwin, thanks for letting your husband uh, come here. And I am hope we'd... I never let him. Uh, <laughs> and thanks for the wheelbarrow. <laughs> so, Sean, uh, you're mentioned here again as a townsite volunteer because you live here. Thanks again for all your work. Uh, Roger and Susan Thorne. They surreptitiously planted a whole bunch of poppy seeds all along the trail, so stay tuned. Flowers are coming. Uh, I'll keep going. John and Nia Wagner. John isn't here. Is Nia here? There you are. Hi, Nia. Thank you for all your help. And thanks for inviting your mother to come and move here. Uh, Barb, where are you? You're terrific, Barb. We love you in here in Townsite. <laughs> So carrying on, uh, Dan Keen, uh, our massage therapist, he didn't offer us massages, but he came here with his wheelbarrow and he helped with the trail. Grant Thurston, thank you very much, wherever you are. Where, where's Grant? There he is. Hi, Grant. Thanks for you. And Cindy McLean, are you here? Okay, Cindy was also helped with the wheelbarrow. Mark Grist was here. Are you here, Mark? Okay, no problems. And uh, two friends from, uh, from Westview, Blake Fougere and Craig Rudd. Craig, thank you very much. All right. And then I have to thank Peter Harvey for doing the video of this. Thank you, Peter. And uh, as, part, as part of the Townsite Heritage Society, I see Kirsten here. Kirsten, thanks for your help. And where are you, John? There he is, John Keller. Thanks for your help, John. And uh, she can't be here today, but nothing that, none of this would be complete without men mentioning that we owe a huge debt of thanks to Ann Nelson for her championing of the Townsite Historic Society, as well as the um, making sure that this garden here was available and was looked after and all your donations went to the Heritage Society care of the um, Triangle Garden. So a huge, a huge vote of uh, gratitude to Anne for her years and years and years of dedication to protesting, protecting the stories that uh, came from all the residents that lived here. Um, and uh, almost. Uh, to the end of my list and there's Susan. Susan, where are you? Susan, uh, thank you. You inspired us to do as good a job as we could and uh, you brought cookies. They were awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then thanks to all of you for your generous support and to the townsite Triangle Gardens, and um, just because this project is now done, there's still a lot of other projects that need to happen, so 
um, continuing your donations would be greatly appreciated. Hello. Mayor. Hello, Mr. Your Worship. Come on over here. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The last thing I want to say is Andy's here amongst us. And I just feel so honored to be able to be here to say thank you to all of you, to Andy's family, to Susan, but I just want, I just feel so much gratitude every time I'm here thinking about the work that Andy did in, in this garden. He would, he, remember the day that he lost his hearing aid in our back alley? <laughs> there are so, there are so many stories, I'm sure you heard lots of them, but Andy, your spirit is here amongst all of us and uh, rest in peace, my friend, rest in peace. So I'm done. I'd like to invite our former mayor, Mr. Stuart Alsgaard, to say a few words. Or maybe our current mayor should say a few words. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, thank you. I've been trying to hop over the fence and break the lock on the area down there that says Triangle Garden. So <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I apologize for, for being late, but I, I just think clearly uh, Andy had a tremendous impact on people and on the success of Powell River. So that's, I think uh, as, as the current mayor, I just want to acknowledge that to Andy's family and to obviously all the friends that have come out here to celebrate this. So thank you very much. The floor is yours, Mr. Former Mayor. Well, here we are. You're up to your neck in worships, but whatever it may be. <laughs> your worship, uh, councillors, and uh, Michael. Uh, I was just thinking as I stood here and looked at this crowd, and um, I have the privilege of being able to uh, participate with uh, Questanea. That's um, Maynard Harry, and uh, prior to that was a former councillor, Bob Astro, in uh, doing walking tours of the town site. Did you know that uh, just doing the quick sum that we've done over 500, not tours, but participants, since uh, got going about eight years ago, and it still adds up. Sometimes there may be two, and on one occasion there were 56. Wow. So you just do the arithmetic between that. But each time, to come here and uh, start the tour. I think of a lot of the personalities that I knew as a as a kid. I'm a Cranberry Lake boy, not from the lake, but from Cranberry, the neighborhood. And um, I think of all of the times that we would dare to come down here because A, they had more electric lights than we did. B, the kids were tougher than we were. And C, there was always a chance of running across a road from Wildwood. So if that should happen, one knew their place very quickly. So we stayed our station where we were supposed to be. So walking these tours and looking at all the places that, uh, that really mean a lot to uh, individuals and to collective, to families and so on, I often reflected on this long, great walk that goes from Patricia Corner all the way up to the Long Bowling Club here. You may or may not know that uh, that site is the uh, you, you may see that uh, on occasion on television as a little film clip. Some of you may not know that the uh, mill super, the engineer, chief engineer who lived up here, that home was uh, used in a couple of the episodes of uh, Murder, She Wrote. That's a house from Massachusetts, so uh, how it got here, I don't know. But these kinds of little clips, because of the scenic nature of this town site, it's extremely valuable from whomever's point of view that's making whatever kind of film to be able to use it and call upon it. So yes, we're involved in that. 
So continuing the walk and pointing these things out, and each time you go to a different spot, you think of something differently. I think of something differently, something that left in my, stuck in my head as a kid, as a high school kid growing up here and leaving here and all that sort of thing of significance. But the one thing that sticks in my mind is we would come up that alley on the other side there, on the back side of the guest house and on the back side of the resident manager's home right here. Bear in mind that when the town site, uh, when the Powell River Company sold off its homes in town site, if you lived in your house uh, and you lived on the, the uh, streets such as Oak and Poplar and that sort of thing, average price five to seven hundred dollars. If you wanted one of the big time houses, these were over a thousand dollars up here. <laughs> so you'd really be thinking about that sort of thing. But the significance of it is that as we walked by, gray, Hello. raining or sunny day, something was moving down here. <laughs> something was moving and what was it? You know, was it reject from the Phantom of the Opera or was it a real time person who wasn't a phantom but just doing something <laughs> that he loved to do? that he loved to give to his community, quite apart from his professional standing as a, as a very, very highly regarded internist, a medical doctor who practiced right according to the ethic here in Powell River and did so much good to, to, for so many people. But here he was because he loved nature. He respected what he saw. It was his own space and he could just get on and get as dirty as he wanted to get. <laughs> and uh, he achieved that on many occasions. Oh, almost. <laughs> and I'm sure that there may have been other implications, but uh, thank goodness for the family's tolerance. And uh, realizing that uh, that family has its origins in Nova Scotia, where I spent a fair part of my time as well, uh, I can see, you know, that uh, he was so kind and courteous and considerate to his children that he never ever took them on any episodes that would have put them at any risk whatsoever. <laughs> but he did mutter to me one day when we were talking about a different aspect of training, I should have left them there in the old Spartan fashion to see whether or not they were of the stuff I thought they could have been. <laughs> so it's a family of accomplishment and it brings to a community such as ours which is evolving all the time. Every day it's different. New people come they take a look at all of this, <clears throat> this planned uh, area that the company built way back when, and instead of building an industrial sort of center where you would have sort of just ugly straight up and down buildings, we came up with, or they came up rather, with what you see today. And the people who have succeeded, those who were first in those homes and so on, have taken great pride in doing just that. They live it. So don't mess around with it and make a shambles of it. Just respect it for what it is. Live it, enjoy it, and be proud of it. And then be prepared when you pass it on to be able to say, I had my watch, I took my time, I, I cared for it as well. So Andy has left us <clears throat> that kind of a legacy. And as you come either way on this path, either from down there or up here, you can tread along this path Eagle, even though it isn't like a Roman road, <laughs> you can roll down that path. I had the correct infusion. <laughs> <laughs> they can all be naval trade, don't get yourselves. Anyway. The great joy of it is that each of us has a memory, each of us thinks about this individual in our own way, and then we might pause for a moment and think about him as well. What was he thinking about? And what did he do when he took off into the backlands up here and hiked and dragged many of you along with him? What about all of those kinds of things? And as one person once said to me, you don't have to go to Europe and hike around in Switzerland to be able to admire the beauty of nature. It's all here. It's right up behind us. In fact, it's better than that. So we're now hoping that our new generations as they come along are not going to be left with a shambles for which we may be responsible. But they were going to take the responsibility of ensuring that they aren't just taught different things, but they're involved in all of these things and respect them for who they are. Young people growing up with a whole new future ahead of them that is, does not have to be what you listen to daily on the news about the shambles that we make of each other's uh, situations, but rather the good that we can do. 
So I just leave you with some of those kinds of things, but I can still see him. I can hear him over here in the bush. <laughs> and I'm sure his worship may have saw him stumbling over the fence down at the bottom end here. <laughs> Someone to do that for us. So I'd just like to uh, conclude by by thinking for a moment uh, in, uh, in the Kalaman language. Shea ne teapetch ne quimut. Kalaman. Ego. Pal River. Ego tisquat. I raise my hands to the people of Kalaman, the people of Powell River, and all of us here today. And Chicha Hatonapetch. Philip Tintok. I thank you all for coming. And uh, the privilege of being amongst you and to enjoy this. Come on one of the tours. I'll wave the people. Thank you, Stuart. So, Susan, you wanted to make a presentation? Oh, just a tiny one. Okay. Scott, can you come up? <laughs> okay. Um, This town has run on volunteerism for many, many years, and unfortunately, that seems to be dying off maybe with the new generation. So if we could teach our children about volunteering and how important it is, none of this would have happened without volunteers or anything like the Sunshine Coast Trail. Um, so just I just want to give my thanks to all the volunteers. Now, PR Paws, there's now Q Paws, I think, um, they really like to have Smokies when they're building trails. <laughs> so I got a little gift certificate here for you, Scott, for getting Smokies. <laughs> you, know, you know it's not the way. Right. It may not be enough, but you can come back for more. <laughs> uh, not, only do I, not only do I promote the Townsite Heritage Society, because my heart is still in Townsite, even though I'm now in Wildwood, <laughs> but these guys, these guys do an amazing job, and so all the support that you can give to the cute paws and the, the efforts on the trail would be much appreciated. So that's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thanks. for coming. Thank you. That's all we have to say. So I don't public speak either. I'm thankfully I don't have to go behind Mr. Uh, Allgard back there. Is that uh, hard act of uh, um, I want to thank Will because it, I mean Andy for him that carried on all of this and really took it from blackberries to what you see. And at the city, we we have no ability to this. We all know that. And if it wasn't for Andy, it would have stayed Blackberry. And when Andy was starting to get on, we were a little bit concerned because we didn't, we, we didn't have a plan B. So thankfully, you kind of stepped up and had to, we had some phone calls and asked some questions. And it's like, oh, yeah, perfect. Here's the... the <laughs> so, so he's our, yeah, he's our new Andy. And... And obviously you've mentioned wheelbarrow, I think, I don't know how many times. So <laughs> if we ever get a plaque for you, we can actually... So that's all I got. I mean, this, this wouldn't have happened, you know, without you. Yeah. 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 No, Well, it was Deb's wheelbarrow, Grant blowed us this wheelbarrow, and who else? We gave, gave you a couple, or one or two. One. one. Don't do parks but, on it. Yeah, I had to spray paint parks on it because I didn't think I was going to get it back. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, walk this as often as you can, please. And, uh, if you feel inclined to come and help out at some of the work parties, you feel absolutely welcome. Um, you can give Mike or give John Keller a call and he'll be happy to sign you up on one of the work parties. And um, your support for the maintenance of this uh, is always appreciated. And if you, if you want and you can, please donate to the Townsite Heritage Society 
to uh, the Triangle Garden and we'll make sure this place gets looked after.